guys, this is Robin, aka R0AIN here, and we're just getting into a bit of Super Mario 3D World. Okay, so we've got me playing as Luigi, we've got my friend Robert as Toad, and we've got his girlfriend Danielle as Mario. And we just start in World 2 1, which is Conk Door Canyon. Okay. So as we start in here, I'm just getting a bit into the controls and everything. I know I'm a bit familiar with it, same as my friend Robert is a bit been introduced. Danielle's still kind of I don't know, trying to find on her feet. So there's different levels of experience in the players, but it's good how we can all come together and actually play on a four-player Mario game. I mean how many four-player Mario games do you know of? It's interesting. It really is unique in the Mario formula. Still play single player, but it's just not the same experience. You can find different locations and items and stuff like that on your own, but the fun is where it's at with the four player. Okay, so we've got the new item here, which is the Super Bell, which turns into a cat, and it makes it easier to actually climb higher place, climb up to higher places, as it's just shown. We've got the scratch that you can do. Which makes it easier rather than actually jumping onto an enemy, you can actually scratch them. Makes it so much easier. And we've got some of the new enemies as well that have been introduced, which this one is called a Conk Door. It's got its first appearance here in Super Mario 3D World. <laughs> it's a bit weird in its appearance with its purple glasses and everything else like that, but there you go. There are enemies. Don't really need to have much of an appearance. You know, you can just kind of kill them, so. Hey, more fun. Okay, so branching out into the GUI here, which is the GUI, Graphical User Interface. As you can see, you've got the items in the top left, shows everybody's sharing the lives there. So we've got all 16, so if somebody dies, then obviously, you know, it goes down to 15. And when it gets down to zero, if the last person dies, then that's it. Collect 100 coins and you get a life, as standard in Mario. Got the collectibles such as the green star there, so with those one, it's free to each level. Time on the top right, got the score there, so when you get more coins or items and such like that, it actually gets higher there. <laughs> Alright, I try not to laugh there as my friend just dropped down the hole. <laughs> and at the bottom left, we've got our fire flower, so if you get more than two power ups, then that is actually attached to the minus button, you can just bring it out whenever you want, use the fire flower. Red coins, get eight of them. Get a new item, it's as simple as that. And the checkpoint flags, as far as I remember, when you're in the standard Mario form, so the basic level, when you actually go past it, you should get a power up and you go into Super Super Mario or Super Luigi, Super Toad, whatever, depending on which character you're using. And the Prixie Fairy at the top here, with that one, it's only available with the first player the ability so when you actually climb to the top of the tree you should be able to use like the Wii U gamepad and you should be able to see a little bit further don't think I've tried it with the Wii pad or the Pro Controller or anything else like that yet um, you might just be able to look around and everything else like that but don't quote me on it it might be exclusive to the Wii U gamepad just so you can actually move it around and have a little look and I think what's unique with this one is, is You've got more room to move around rather than the you've got the other 2D games such as the new Super Mario Brothers Wii. And that one you're kind of stepping on your toes a bit more. So whoever's one player, when they get furthest away, it actually you can see the screen edge there, it keeps them popping up with the blue outline. As soon as they get further away, the other players have like a certain amount of time to actually get back into that screenshot before they turn into bubbles and actually get dragged towards you. So it's good because they don't actually lose lives, but it's a bit annoying if you're playing with like kind of a younger, younger aged, and they're, they're kind of going about doing what they want, and then you know you have to keep up with them really, or you know you want to find a collectible and they're just just not having it. Stamps are involved here, so those are just more for me verse really, just be able to post it on messages and stuff like that. And we're coming up to the end of the level now, guys. So we've got the flagpole here. 4,000 for Mario, 400 for Toad, and the cat power up actually allows you to get that bit more distance there at the end for 8,000 points. So yeah, 
This has been Robin. And this has been Super Mario 3D World. So, if you like that video, guys, just comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to see more, I've got the spin off, which is Captain Co Toad's Treasure Tracker. And yeah, you take it easy, guys. This is me, signing out.